enough. Am I enough? A question in the sand written by my own hands. Three words that command attention, create a definition, a narration, a contradiction of both praise and rejection, leading to only more and more questions. Should I stop what I'm doing, change how it's done? Is this what I'm called to do? If so, why is it so hard to do? Will it change the world? Or will I just disappoint you? And with each question, doubt creeps in, hesitation, as the question becomes a declaration. I am not enough. That third word, it changes the phrase with bold letters begins to define the day, not a negative that changes the positive, a paradigm shift that sifts out the truth from the narrative. But what is enough? Is it found in the eye of the beholder? And if it is, does it change with each perspective through their eyes? It can only be selective, never objective. And if enough is ever changing, what can worth be found in? Or is it an endless cycle, a merry-go-round in motion? So maybe I'll just accept the words and give in. Change. Conform. Be. When all I see is inadequacy. And in this cycle, many beginnings and no end, where this combination of both praise and rejection creates a strive for perfection, creating pure exhaustion, is the standard of perfection an image? Or is it just an illusion? Then... I'm reminded of a story, one that changed the melody, the trajectory, a moment in the sand that changed the theme. From death to life set the captive free as he drew in the sand. Was it words? Was it art? Whatever it was, it created a new start as stones began to fall. The scene began to calm. That moment in the sand, it, it changed it all. What was it he wrote in the sand that day? But then I'm reminded of more words as I see the sand slipping away. Words of your thoughts for me. They are greater than, more than I can comprehend, greater than the grains of sand, not just the uncountable amount in my hand. No, your thoughts for me are greater than all the grains of sand. It's, it's incredible, indescribable. If that's the truth, your love is unconditional. So perhaps a shift, a focus, a change, instead of focusing on my work, what I can do, instead of focusing on the shame. What if I stopped and focused on you? What if I focused on just a few of your names? You are the great I am. Elohim, God, the creator, Jehovah Jireh, provider, Emmanuel, God with us, God with me. El Roy, you are the God who sees. You are the creator. You created everyone. You created everything. Yes, you even created me, not on a whim. No, you created with pure, detailed intention. And that first man you created and said was in your image. We are in your image. So as I create, 
whether in word or in song, in a short time or long, in, in front or alone or a moment unplanned, may I always be thinking of the Creator's hand. I am created by the Creator. The master artist has called me his masterpiece. I am the apple of your eye. I am your crowning glory. In this may I find peace. In this may I live my story. Emmanuel, you are here in the night and the light. Jehovah Jireh, you are the God who provides. You provide for our needs. El Roy, you are the God who sees. You see me. You see me. You see the joy. You see the pain. You see the shame. And you know my name. So if the question is, am I enough? The answer is, I have been bought by your blood. And in a world where the love is words like because, words of if, my God, he loves me, period. No additions to the phrase, this is the truth to live by for all of my days. So does he need my art? The answer is no. He does not need me. No, he wants me. He invites me. What grace, what mercy, the glory of glories invites me in to the story. So in a world that challenges my worth by my work, let us remember the truth of these words. My work does not define my value, my worth, my worth is found in his one life-changing work. 2,000 years ago, on a cross, with little life left, he breathed, it is finished. He conquered sin and death. So, if we question our worth, remember the price it cost 2,000 years ago on a cross as Jesus Christ died and shed his blood for us. We are his works of art. So today, let's live from the truth. The creator, God, he didn't just create you, he loves you too. It's not about performance, it's about his promise and that promise came, lived, died, rose again. It's about Jesus. So today I choose to live from that story. Today I choose to give you all the glory. I am redeemed. I am loved. I am a daughter of the king. I am who I am because the great I am created.